good morning folks oh well it is um, seven o'clock no, ten to seven time for a breakfast run as normal oh it's a lovely morning as well oh, you might notice things in the stable are a little quieter and that maybe I've changed the pecking order a bit so the big lad's gonna stay there and back by popular demand I'm taking out the VFR today so enjoy sick of people moaning that they're not hearing it <laughs> anyway let's get ready we'll go out for a ride on the VFR funny story I'll tell you about it in a minute after the intro roll it What a beautiful morning. Middle of October. How the hell that happened, I will never know. Good morning and welcome. Yep, as I said, we're out on the VFR this morning. Look at this sunrise. Head down to the departure lounge and meet Kev. Kev from Norway. Kev came over about a week ago to uh, join us on the PCOS tour. We're obviously not on the PCOS tour, but he came anyway. Oh, look at that. So yeah, funny story, I was just saying. I cleaned the Africa Twin because I've just got back from uh, a fantastic few days up in North Yorkshire and Northumberland. So the Africa Twin was absolutely ditched. So I thought yesterday I'll get it out and wash it. So cleaned it all up. And, uh, there's, there's nothing in there at the moment. Most bikes have gone. Kev's got his bike at the moment, obviously. And, all the press bikes have gone back apart from the Africa Twin long term. So I uh, yeah, washed the Africa Twin and while it were out I thought, oh I'm going to give the VFR a polish as well because it was clean, I just thought I'd give it a polish. Give it a polish and I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to move around the pecking order and I'm going to go out tomorrow on that. So put the Africa, took the Africa Twin in the corner and bought the VFR out. Posted a picture up on Wild Bad saying, change the pecking order, I'm going out on this baby tomorrow. And someone commented saying, oh I've just, I've just uh, gone online with your registration to see how many miles she's done. You might want to check your MOT. <laughs> Bloody MOT had ran out three months ago. <laughs> Luckily I've not been riding her, have I? So. so then I'm thinking, oh no, I really want to go out on her tomorrow. So I, um, I had to ring around all the garages that I know to try and get an emergency. I mean, we're talking, this is, this is like three o'clock yesterday afternoon. On a Saturday, I'm like, there's no chance. Uh, see if I can get an emergency MOT anyway. I managed to get one in at CMC in, in uh, Clay Cross, which I was very surprised. I thought that had been definitely off the cards. But anyway, they squeezed me in within like an hour. She flew through with no advisories. And uh, yeah, at least we can ride her again today, <laughs> legally. So at the moment, I've got the, uh, obviously, just my VFR and the long termer in the garage. So that's made a way, that's made way something big there's something big and fancy and i'm so excited about coming in two weeks uh, one week is it next week oh might be next week yes yeah a bike that i've been very 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 excited about and i've wanted to get hold of for a long time i'll not tell you just yet but i will say there's room in the garage for something big Right, let's get up to the departure lounge and see Kev. He should be there now. Folks, look who's here. It's bloody Kevin. From Norway. Yay! Me and Kev actually went for a ride uh, last weekend, but I didn't film it because it was chucking it down. Um, but yeah, we're going to go for another one today because he's due home in a couple of days, aren't you, mate? Well, I'll say he's due home in a couple of days. He's thinking about um, sacking his return flight off and, re and going back later. Just tell everybody, you'll have to get closer because they can't hear what you're saying. How much was your flight from Norway? Your return flight? My return flight that I first booked was £30. Return. I uh, just looked, cancelled my return flight, looked, and it's £8.12 to flight home. £8.12 pence to fly home to Norway. <laughs> It's fresh this morning, folks. Eight degrees. We'll just have a steady ride, Kev, yeah? And uh, end up for breakfast. 
I've had a bad back, folks. For I've, well, I always have, I always kind of had a, have a bad back, but um, I've really been struggling this last week for about a week solid. And uh, now my back's all right. My neck feels knackered. <laughs> I'm dropping to bits. <laughs> Get this moisture off of this visor. Since we've been sat there, the condensation that's built up on these on the mirrors and uh, visors quite uh, surprising, actually. Five degrees now we're moving. Oh, three degrees. Oh, the temperature really has dropped. Kev was just giving me permission to ride his bike um, as, as and when I wish because uh, he had planned to come down from Norway, do the Picos tour with us. We should have been riding home today from the Picos, from uh, Portsmouth. And then Kev were going to ride home. But now, at this time of year, there's snow everywhere in Norway, so his bike's staying for the foreseeable. What we say it's going to be till next spring at least then I guess. Oh what a lovely sunrise, might get a nice uh, sunrise photo up here. It's nice to be on this again. Look at this golden hour folks. How nice is that? Beautiful. Morning sunrise. It's a shame we can't ride up to Wingfield Manor. You'll see this old, uh, I don't think you've been this way before, have you, Kev? There's an old um, remains of an old castle here. W Wingfield Manor, have a look over to your left. You'll see it in a sec. Mary, Qu Mary, Mary Queen of Scots were held prisoner there. It's got quite a, a legendary story. And there, there's, there's a pub, um, where are we now? There's a pub just in that, uh, where we just turned left and then right, that's called Oakathorpe. There's a pub there that's got a, a tunnel that was uh, dug from the castle to the pub for her to escape. Sunny morning, Kev. I'm glad we've come out a bit earlier. You just can't beat that sunrise, being up and out with that sunrise, can you? We've just dropped to two degrees, folks. This is the coldest it's been. It did say on the news that we're having an Arctic blast and that temperatures are going to plummet. Even the mirrors are steaming up, aren't they? And my batteries, my batteries are suffering like massively. In the sun, in the sun, like 15, 15 to 20 degrees. I'll get a, I'll get a solid hour because they're all uh, you know official batteries, and we've been, been we've been filming for what 15 minutes, and my front battery is less showing less than half already. The the cold just kills the battery because we've gone so cold so quick. I might have to keep an eye on the old uh, surface with us being this cold. Road surface. I might even treat myself to a bit of hot grip action, Kev. We were up here on the um, Big Little Adventure. And me, uh, this is where my phone bounced down the road. It, it broke off the thing. In it's, it's on the video. A fella come out trying to help me help me find a screw, and he, he managed to. It, the screw had come out of the um, brake reservoir, which were holding on the attachment for the phone. It had just shook itself off, you know. And uh, yeah, we pulled up here in this little in this silent road here. Yeah, it's one degree now. I'm ready for uh, autumn now, anyway. Yeah, mirrors are completely steamed up, folks. My battery on my front camera is almost depleted and it's only been filming for 28 minutes. It is freezing. in full flow. You got me Kev? Yeah. Are we on? Yeah. Oh, I've got shit on road. I've got a perfectly clean bike. 
<laughs> Why did I bring us up this way? Oh, gutted. Oh no. I didn't even mean this to come up this road. I'm trying to find somewhere that you might recognise. Uh, I turned right too soon, so we need to turn left. Here. Sorry about that, Kev. I've shit your bike up and mine for no reason. <laughs> you might recognise something in a minute, bud. Right, we'll spin them round. This is where I should have come up this road, which would have been perfectly bloody clean. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll be able to spin it here. Shame the sun's not on us again. Oh, even that looks nice. Because that's your screensaver, isn't it? Yeah. That's a lovely, I love that, I love that photo. I just wish I'd have took that photo with a DSLR because that would have been a mega, mega. It can only be so good on the iPhone, um, whereas you could have blown it up as big as that yeah. if I took it with a DSLR. I'll show you that little bench where I sat on your bike as well. Shame that sun's hiding at the moment, that would have looked lovely there. You'd have had the sun on both shots, like the one the sun setting behind the shot on your one, and the, and the sun lighting the shot on on this one. I might have to try and get back out there and do that exact same shot on a sunrise to try and to try and do the reverse. Yeah, that's not bad. Brought Kev up to see where uh, where I came on that video I made on his own bike. So show, showing him all the little picture locations. <laughs> Come down to a lovely little village in a minute and go over a bridge over a little river, and it's, it's stunning. I think the bridge has collapsed though. When I came down here the other week with the teapot and Mr. Fish, the, bri the bridge were all we could pass it. It could still cross, but it was all. Um, I don't know if they're just doing some work on it or if something's happened, I don't know. Lovely and fresh this morning. You can see the mist over in the distance there, look, sitting. That's another thing, that's what I love about just getting up and doing all this before you even go for your breakfast. You've already done like a shift before the day started, haven't you then? But having said that, most of the people that come down here for breakfast or up here have already have already done their shift, haven't they? Because they, some of them travel quite far to come to you know to come up here. I don't think uh, any of them really think anything of travelling a couple of hours to come to it, which is lovely. It's lovely that it's turned itself into a, a bike meeting place for breakfast, you know, without without really setting it up as such, you know, it's just turned into it. And you never have, you never have to really mention that you're coming for breakfast. It's it's just a given that, you know, weather, there's going to be people there. Yeah. Hey, up! Oh, dear! Oh, yeah. That's just normal for you to see that, isn't it? <laughs> it's not, not for me, it isn't. Where were they then? Where did they get to? Oh dear. We're cause, causing a bit of grief here. They, they, this is like we're going to be rounding them up. They're going to they're going to keep running and running and running, aren't they? I wonder if we have to try and get past them to try and bring them back a bit. That's it. Disperse, disperse. I'm not trying to cause grief. I'm trying to get them to go backwards. There you go, there you go. Otherwise, they'd, otherwise they'd have just carried on going, wouldn't they? <laughs> 
Just call me Richie Sheepdog. <laughs> Here we go, look. That's what I mentioned. So I don't know if it's fell or if, or if they've uh, doing some restoration or something. I don't know. This uh, this is dead nice. You know, at night, look at the old lamp post. Oh, so, so when I came down here on yours, yeah. and I'd, I'd only just discovered it when I came on yours, and all this was like going dark, dusk, and this was just like an old, you know, the really yellow lamp post. It's a shame they don't do the yellow ones anymore. I don't know what they're like in Norway, but this, they've started to change all ours to white, like bright LED white ones, and they're just not the same. The villagers don't look the same. You know, you don't get that old-fashioned days gone by. The yellow, you know, the whole yellow um, lamppost. But well, you just don't get it anymore. A chippy down here is where I first ever had a battered Mars bar. Have you ever had one? The mate sounds disgusting, but I promise you, it's lovely. Yeah, chippy down there, and I saw it, I, I, I went in fish and chips and saw that they did it, and I thought, you know, I'm going to try one, it sounds absolutely disgusting, but I'm going to give it a shot, and it was bloody lovely. For sale. Fancy buying that, Kev? Shall go halves on it? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll see you, uh, see you all soon. Yeah. Oh. See you a bit. See you, pal. See you a bit. See you a bit. Nice busy morning. My Georgie just rung me and said, Daddy, I'm desperate to go to the park. <laughs> so, I had to swallow me a cup of tea and make haste. I noticed the other day that this front facing um, scaffolding is um, starting to perish a bit, so I need to redo it all. Might be time to start using my new, my new lid. Put a new mount set up on that. It's nice to be back on the VFR though, I can tell you that. Uh, the guy that brought it to my attention about the MOT was here at breakfast this morning he pulled he walked in he says uh hope oh, we got your mot done then he said it was me it was me that told you so thank you pal i forgot i'm sorry i forgot your name again um thank you very much for bringing that to my attention so yeah she's fully mot'd again for another 12 months so if you could just uh, drop me a message this time next year that'd be great <laughs> Beautiful engine this is. Stay tuned folks, as I said at the beginning of the video, the space in my garage, I've had to make space in the garage for something big coming soon. And I'm very, very excited about it too. I hope it lives up to my expectations, put it that way. And they are very high, <laughs> as they always are. So this is a Hero 9 and the horizon levelling so you'll notice that the land behind me is perfectly level and you'll just see the bike moving as as we do work best really when you've got a point of reference like you know the bike so you can see the bike moving if you just put it on well I'll put it on the mud guard in a minute so that which that should just then look like it's floating through the countryside, no movement whatsoever. So now, there's no point of reference. So it should just like it's gliding. It should just look like it's gliding. See how it does this.
plus I'm panicking about <laughs> leaving it out of out of sight. But yeah, she's a good looking like this now. Look, look what I'm doing to the camera, and you'll that will be perfectly view. It'll be perfectly stable, but you can see with this camera what I'm doing to it. <laughs> Look what I'm doing to the camera, and you'll that will be perfectly view. It'll be perfectly stable, but you can see with this camera what I'm doing to it. What do you reckon? I'll put it on here now. See there. See, look at that. So you can see the angle of the bike. And that's perfectly in line with the bike. But the camera must have some form of gyroscope inside it for it to be able to even do that. There's a little taste of the Hero 9, like I say, because it's such a narrow worm. Um, point of view that's why you need that max lens mod and it's not available yet so I won't really be using it too much until then I don't think or maybe mainly use it just for vlogging in fact I'll switch back to the the hero 7 for the time being you ready I'm gonna change that nine to a seven in a split second three two one drop there we go back to the seven the nine safely back tucked away in there how did I do that power of technology folks power of technology well it's turned out to be a lovely day soon be time to get that heated vest out There you go folks, hope you've enjoyed listening to that V4 sing again, I know I have, I know a lot of you have been asking about it, so thank you very much for that, we'll see you soon, and um, yeah, see you in the next one, thank you very much for joining me, please do subscribe, it's free, just click it, subscribing in attendance, that's all it is, thank you very much, click that notification bell so you don't miss any videos, and um, I'll be with you soon, thanks very much. Be good, be careful, yeah, be kind, adios. Um, um.